Hi everyone, it's Maha once again. Thank you so much for joining me here on my channel. So this video is going to be for those of you who have been asking me to talk about my story with astrology and kind of give you an update about where I'm at with it. And so as many of you know, astrology is one of my biggest passions. And this video is really not planned at all. I just decided to kind of start just chatting about astrology, about why I began to study it, kind of where it all began and where I'm going with it and where I am with it now. So back it was in the summertime when I was chatting with a couple of my lovely friends here on YouTube and they just they wanted to know, you know, what how was astrology going. I didn't want to make the video back then because to be honest, I wasn't in a very good place with astrology, which is really strange. I know because a lot of you know that I love astrology and it's just, it was just, I'll, I'll get into it in a moment because I want to talk to you about the things I've learned and the things that I've learned about myself also in the past six months. So before I begin, I want to show you something really exciting, which I actually haven't shown uh, anybody except for my mother, anybody in my real life, because I know you will appreciate this and I've been waiting for this for a long time. It came in the mail the other day. So are you ready? Ta-da! It is my certificate. So now I am officially an astrologer. International Academy of Astrology for the satisfactory, satisfactory Completion of NATO Studies Module. So this piece of paper took me three years to acquire. I worked really hard for this. And I'm, I guess I, I feel proud about it, but it didn't really hit me until just recently. I was talking to uh, one of my favorite teachers yesterday. She spent about an hour and 45 minutes just going over my chart so nice of her and I learned so much and I'm really happy because I feel really excited about astrology again and it's not it, it wasn't what I was feeling in the summertime I'll tell you about that but so this this certificate is from an online astrology school called International Academy of Astrology based in the United States and so the diploma, uh, the this certificate is for natal studies, which is basically the birth chart. So the birth chart is like a snapshot of the sky, what the sky looked like at the time that you were born. So I've spent three years learning how to decipher and break apart and analyze and look at the psychology of the personality, all the different energies and motion that each individual has within their psyche. So the, the, the program that I did was based on psychological astrology. However, what I didn't know and I, what I found out was that the diploma program, which is after you finish this, you go into, if you want to continue, you go into the diploma program and it's the diploma of astrology with this school. And so the diploma program kind of goes more in depth and in looking at not just the birth chart, but the birth chart in manifestation. So we look at and learn about transits and progressions, which are just two fancy terms uh, describing when we look at what is happening for you right now and what have what has happened, what has taken place from the time that you were born all the way up until a specific moment in time. So it could be right now, it could be 10 years from now, it could be 10 years ago. So just studying basically the development of the personality. So that's what the diploma module is about. And I went into it in the summertime. I took one course, the first diploma program course. And I started to get I started to feel, I don't know how to describe it. I mean, at the time I was just really confused because it wasn't what I expected or what I imagined. 
the first thing my teacher said to me was, you know, just forget all about archetypes. Don't bring psychology into it. This is about events, about the prediction of events, about seeing where, what things are happening on the outside. Uh, and, you know, the client will come to you and they'll want to know what is happening. Um, they want to know if something is going to happen. Am I going to meet the right person? Am I going to get a job? Questions like that. So that was what it was about, looking at events. And, and I started to feel like, okay, I just felt like there's a lot more to astrology from what I had imagined. And um, when I originally, mm, okay, before I tell you the story about how I got into astrology, I'll tell you that I discovered medical astrology um, five years ago through my studies of aromatherapy and correspondences, the studying correspondences, meaning how planets are linked to minerals and plants and the body, the, the parts of the body. And that really fascinated me when I discovered that. So I decided that I wanted to do medical astrology. And this school that I found, IAA, uh, they have a medical astrology program, but it doesn't actually begin until um, you finish the diploma, so down the road. It's a lot of studies, which is perfect for a Sagittarius like me, because I just, I'm a forever student. I love learning, and astrology is just something that never really ends. There's always more to learn, right? So, so medical astrology is something that really fascinates me still. And, um, but in the summer, when I went to this diploma program, I guess I just did, I didn't really jive well with the teacher. She wasn't really, she, she was just kind of rushing through everything and that's so not, not a Maha thing. I need to ask lots of questions. I need to understand, you know, I want to know why this, why that. And I asked a lot of questions. So I guess I must have been a really annoying student. For her because she just wanted to get on with the course and here I was like no wait I, get, I want to know how about this how about that why not this why not that so as I was going through this this course in the summertime I you know, I just went research I started researching online just um, I, I remember that way before I began with this school uh, I had found another school which uh, is it began um, by Liz Green. Liz Green started this psychological astrology program in London, based in London. And Liz Green, you probably heard me, if you watch my videos, probably heard me go on and on about her because she's just such a huge inspiration for me. I've read all her books. I just love her so much. And so she, um, I found this school about a few years ago that she had begun in London psychological astrology and at the time I remember that I wasn't really that excited about it because I was just like oh this is just way too much psychology for me I don't want that much psychology I just want to learn astrology so that's why I, I actually went into this school IA and um, then in the summertime when I was feeling a bit you know down and just not down but just kind of like blank with astrology. It was it's my passion, my fire about it was gone. And that is, it's really hard for a fiery personality. I'm always like, I need, I need to be excited about things. And it was just my vision of astrology was kind of blown away. So I, I decided that I would go just, just to look at that school again, that psychological astrology school. Since then I had read a lot more about psychology, about psychological astrology. So uh, when I went back this other time around, the second time around, and looked at the courses and looked at their curriculum and their, their outline, what the courses are, it was like, it was a different feeling. I suddenly realized that I had changed. The way I looked at the program was not the same way as, as I looked at it back then, a few years back. So this time it was like, oh, this is something else. This is what I want to do. The stuff that they were teaching is all about uh, archetypal, psychological astrology. It's like a blend between psychology, archetypal psychology, and Jungian 
psychology mixed with uh, astrology, just the perfect blend. All the teachers, the instructors are all psychologists and counselors. It's called the Mercury International School of Psychological Astrology. And so I was really excited. I thought, wow, this is what I want to do because they were, um, in their mission statement was that they look at the person as opposed to the outer events. They look at the inner dimensions of the psyche and how what's inside actually can manifest what's outside, meaning that these two are not separate. Um, Liz Green, in later on I read, says that whereas concrete astrologers look to particular events and predicting events, uh, psychological astrologers on the other hand look at the the person it's it's depth psychology it's transpersonal psychology it's really looking in the every aspect of the psyche and not separating it from the outside of what what actually happens in real life so for example if uh somebody passes away somebody dies um that's an event but how that ma how that event translates for the person experiencing it, the person whose loved one is dead, for example, is when we determine when an event has happened. Does that make sense? So just basically that everything, looking at everything as synchronicities, uh, everything as patterns, everything as whatever is happening within me is also, is not separate from what's happening outside of me. And that's my way of looking at things. That's my philosophy of life. So that, I, got, I started feeling really excited when I discovered that. And I, even though the psychological astrology um, school doesn't have medical astrology per se, they still do look at health in astrology. They look at everything that I'm so interested about, like the deep shadowy stuff, really transformation, really helping the individual transform by becoming more self-aware and looking at their own, the, the energies in motion within themselves. So I switched my school. That was a big thing for me because, you know, um, after, you know, planning on doing this program and coming all the, uh, coming thus far, I just wanted to suddenly change. And it's not that I'm, I'm going to uh, have to start all over again, actually. I can continue my diploma program with this psychological astrology school. I already began my courses about three months, three weeks ago. Oh, I love it so much. I'm so excited again. And this is how I want to feel. I realized I didn't want to be bored with astrology. I was feeling really bored. And for me, when I start to feel bored, it's bad news. It, things don't go well. <laughs> so I always know that I need to keep this passion going. And in this case with astrology and with everything else in my life. But in this case with astrology, I felt like I need to um, start, you know, change up, change up something. So I, uh, I'm so excited because my one of my courses is called Counseling Techniques. And the teacher is Juliet Sharman Burke. If you, if any of you know um, Mythic Tarot, she uh, wrote the book with... Liz Green. They, she co-authored the book with Liz Green. And so she knows a lot about tarot and she is a counselor, psychologist, and an amazing astrologer. So I had my first course with her two weeks ago. And we take different courses. So it's great. It's a really, really well structured, well designed, very serious program. And this is going to be one year where I'll be taking psychological astrology courses. So in uh, so this semester and two semesters from now, I'll finish with a certificate in psychological astrology. And then I want to continue with my diploma in psychological astrology, which will encompass medical astrology as well. I did, uh, meanwhile, in the summertime, take a medical astrology class as well. And that was really amazing. Learned a lot. That's uh, that was taught uh, by a teacher. Did I already mention? Yeah, she yeah she saw me for about an hour and a forty five minutes just the other day talking to me about so many things. Oh, I learned so much. 
I learned that my goddess, uh, the goddess that represents my chart is Artemis. And this is amazing. Artemis and Kali. Let me tell you though, Artemis, I mean, I fell in love with Artemis the very, very first time I saw an image of her. As soon as I saw this image, and this was years ago, and back then I didn't even really know what goddesses, what anything really about goddesses. I just saw this image and I fell in love with her. And I was like, wow, this is just so me. With a bow and arrow, I mean, I'm a Sagittarius, and she represents the virgin goddess, totally independent, doesn't give a, gra doesn't give a crap, just does her own thing and runs out in the wild untamed saving animals i thought okay that's me that's just me and so it was so funny that she actually mentioned that artemis is the goddess um linked to my chart because this is another thing i'm really fascinated about is uh looking at a chart and finding which goddess archetype is prominent in the person or god god goddess and kali has been coming up a lot for me recently one of my dear friends here, Monsoon, Monsoon Magic, she just made a, a video about dark goddesses and she was talking about Kali a little bit. And um, I was telling her how it's, Kali's been coming up a lot for me and I'm just starting to research her and stuff. So when my teacher said that Kali was another one of my goddesses, it was just like, what? how synchronistic is that? <sighs> okay. You know, and one other thing I've learned about myself is that I don't really like talking for a long time without taking breaks. So I may have to take a break in this video coming up. Just to pause and catch my breath. Even when I'm listening to someone else talking, I really need that, the pause to absorb the information. Otherwise I feel really overwhelmed. I don't know about you, but that's just me. So um, my color, apparently color therapy, color and sound therapy is really strong for me because I have Neptune strong in my chart. So all of that was very interesting and now I'm just so excited for this course. And my teacher also said that I should never say I'm a student, that I should always say I'm an astrologer because 20 years down the road, everyone will remember that I'm an astrology student, not an astrologer. So I'm going to say I'm an astrologer, and I guess technically I am now, because now I have this. So how did it all begin? So a long time ago, when I was young and stupid, I was about to get married to a guy that I've been with for five years, and it was kind of my very first serious relationship. So, I mean, um, lots of people were against me getting married to this person, it just was long story short, un an unhealthy relationship altogether. And um, I, at the time I had a dance teacher and she had an astrologer that she went to every once in a while. And she kept telling me that I should go see this astrologer. I was very confused about whether, I mean, I was going to get married, but I was very confused about it. And my thoughts, very silly thoughts, uh, were that, you know, if it doesn't work out, I'll just get a divorce. I mean, I guess I was too, I wasn't strong enough to end it. I wasn't sure how to be alone after after being in that relationship for this, for that long. I'm sure some of you know what I'm talking about. By the way, it's interesting because I just noticed that I've been sharing a lot of my personal stories on my channel lately. <laughs> So then um, I went and saw this astrologer and he basically, I gave my information and the guy I was dating at the time. So he kind of looked at both charts. He looked at my chart and his chart and put it together. There's this thing in astrology, in astrology that you can, um, for relationship astrologers, you can put astrology charts together, two people, two separate people, and then see how they get along, what problems they may have, um, what lessons they'll learn, all that kind of stuff. This I'll be doing in the next semester. So I remember the astrologer had all these charts and all these, you know, calculations and numbers and I was just thinking, oh wow, it looks so complicated, but it looks so cool. I wish I could do that one day. Nah, I thought to myself, nah, I'll never do that because it's it's just too too hard, too much, too much work. 
I'll never have time to learn all that. And so um, he sat with me for almost two hours talking about all the different reasons why I should not go into the marriage. I mean, it was mind blowing because everything he said about me was so true. I felt like he knows me really well. And everything he said about the guy I was dating was so true and also how um, the difficulties we were having, what he, he, what he said was just so accurate. And I mean, uh, nobody else until that point had told me what to do. Everybody, of course, family and friends, just they listened. They never, no one felt the right to tell me as you know, how, that's how it is. We don't usually feel the right to tell someone what to do or what not to do. So no one really told me what to do, except this astrologer, just, he just told me straight up, he said, you can't get married. There's no way you can get married. If you ma marry this person, your whole life will be ruined. <laughs> for this reason and for that reason, for this and this. I mean, I don't know if I would do that as an astrologer. I, 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 it just, but I guess for some reason he really felt that yeah, that was necessary to break up. And um, it was thanks to this astrologer that I didn't get married. And then years later, I mean, I've always been very interested in astrology, really passionate, just like reading horoscopes and reading things here and there on my own. And then um, a few years ago, I think most of you know, I had a, a, a back injury. I injured myself really badly. I had to stop working. And I had a lot of time to read, a lot of time on my hands to read. And I just started to, I, I, I thought I would use my time wisely to learn things. And I read a lot of astrology books, a lot. And at some point, I decided that I need to learn from a teacher. So then I did a lot of research and I found this online school that I just talked about with you where I graduated from with that certificate and you know things just fell into place and I, here I am. I think it's just really really cool how sometimes things happen a certain way and at the time we feel like we just like it's the worst thing that's happened to us like me being in bed and having just a lot of pain. And then when you look back at it, when time goes by, you see that it it's almost like everything happened for a reason. And this is what I love about astrology. This is the one lesson that astrology has really taught me that everyone is supposed to be who they're supposed to be. Everyone is who they're supposed to be. And it has really taught me to accept everyone, accept everything all things and that's the beauty for me that I found in astrology the connections the synchronicities the patterns the fact that nothing is inherently good or bad that non-judgmental way of looking at things and really learning that two things two opposite things are really the two sides of the same coin and then there's all these things in between all these little shades of all these shades of gray in between. There's the black and white and all the myriad shades of gray. And it's, it's helped me to look at life in a broader way, to not take things as personally, not to dwell on things, even though I'm still human and I still do that. Uh, it's, it's, it's helped open, expand my mind. And to really see that the things that I used to regret, things I hadn't done, things I thought I should have done, mistakes I thought I had made that I shouldn't have made, that everything was just part of this plan. And that's just really the beauty of what I found in astrology. And I continue to learn. And astrology for me is not, it's not enough for me to sit and study the events that are happening. And this is why I don't sit and look too much at what energies are happening around me right now and you know what's happening because obviously I, I, I think that there's a place for that and it's definitely useful and helpful 
And I think that it's important to use my own intuition, my own antennas and navigate through life intuitively, you know, just as I am, without the intellectual studying of a chart or studying the sky every single day and all the time. And sometimes I feel like I'm such a bad astrologer because I'll have people tell me, oh, you know, astrologer, astrologer friends tell me, oh my gosh, you know, this, this is crossing my Neptune right now and this so and so and such and such is happening. What do you think? And I'm always like, I don't know. I don't look at that. I don't look at my days every day to see what the sky is doing and what, what's happening with me. I just kind of wake up and try to feel it out. And I still continue to study astrology, and I always will, and it's going to be my, like I said, lifelong study. And then there's, it's just, there's so much to know. It never ends. Astrology really never ends. I mean, uh, it can, if we want to stay with this kind of strict boundary of events and prediction, but for me, it's so much more. It's just unlimited really just like the sky I mean just like the universe it, there's so much that I don't know so much that's a mystery anyway now I'm rambling way too much so thank you so much for listening and, and I hope this was somewhat inspiring to some of you as always I'm sending you lots of love see you in my next videos bye